Hi friends. If you're a real estate agent organizing your business with Notion, today I'm going to be uh, taking you through creating a brand new version of this hub links section here. So this is a menu of every section that is found in the Ultimate Agent Hub, a Notion template for real estate agents to help you organize your entire business in one place. At the moment, uh, what I've got here are links to every section of this template. What has confused some customers is that when you open the sidebar here, I'll open it properly here, you see it almost looks like every section is there twice, right? So you see the buyer CRM here, and you see the buyer CRM down here. But in fact, they're not doubles of the same page. On this first set of pages, there's a little link icon next to each and every one of them. Whereas on the second set here, there is no uh, arrow. So these here are the actual pages, whereas the ones at the top are simply links to those pages. And that's why when you open the Ultimate Agent Hub, you see each of these twice because they are existing as a link at the top here and then they're existing as the actual pages down here. And the reason that we did this initially is so that you would have access to these links. So if I collapse my sidebar here, you would have access to this hub links section from any page in the Ultimate Agent Hub. So if I went into, for example, my all client database, that same hub links section is found there, if I go to my task manager, the same section is found here. And so this is what we call a synced block. Okay, so whatever I change in here, let's say hub home, if I change that here, and then I go back to uh, the original page, I see that that little change that I've made also populates there and it populates in every section where this synced block exists. And I have put that synced block in every one of these pages so that you have your menu wherever you are in your Ultimate Agent Hub. However, today I'm going to create a slightly cleaner version of this Hub Links menu so that you don't have them all there twice. So what we're gonna do instead, I'm going to go back to my original page and what I'm gonna use instead of links is I'm going to be using buttons, okay? So I'm gonna do it outside of the synced block first and then I'll be moving it uh, into the synced block once we are done with it. So I'm actually going to open up a new page here. I'm going to do forward slash page, and I'm going to call this links. Now, how do we create buttons? So I'm going to do forward slash button. I want to create one for each and every one of these, right? So I've got my buyer CRM. I'm going to be green. I'm going to keep the same colors. And then when the button is clicked, I'm going to open a page, full page. And then the page that I want to open is the buyer CRM. Done. So that's my first button created. So all I've done is created a button. I've added my little icon. I've added my title. I said the trigger is when button is clicked. And then the action will be open the buyer CRM in full page. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing for each of my pages. And then once all that is done, I will bring it in to the home page of the Ultimate Agent Hub. So I'm going to fast forward through this and then we'll be back once this is done. And then a little trick here is instead of recreating it every time, I can actually just duplicate and then go into the little gear icon here and switch it. So this will be my seller CRM, for example, and then I just have to change this to the right page. Seller CRM, right? And I'll do that for each and every page, all right? So I'll see you once I'm done. All right, so all of my links are here as buttons. And now we'll just separate them here by section. All right, so now I've got my four sections and I'm going to bring these in to that synced block. So what I can do actually is just bring that synced block in here. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go copy and sync here, copy and sync. And then I'm going to go back into my links page and I'm going to paste it here at the top. I'm gonna to go full width. Okay, now we've got that synced block which exists on all of my pages here at the top. And I'm going to replace each of these links with a button instead, which will be much cleaner. And again, it won't appear twice here on every one of my pages. I think this is a good use of buttons and it really improves the interface. So I'm noticing I forgot one here, which is the home page. So I'm gonna create that button here. I'm gonna do duplicate up here and then change it into ultimate agent hub. We'll change the color to black. Block, 
Use my little icon here and then we'll open Ultimate Agent Hub. And there we go. Perfect. And now all I've got to do is move these buttons up into the section, right? So I will be able to delete and I'm going to grab all of these. There we go. And I'm going to drag them from the side here and bring them into that section. And now I can delete these done. Then we're going to do the same thing with there we go. So there's our new hub links section. And so now I can actually now delete this because it's been synced uh, into every instance of this synced block. So if I go into any one of these, Transaction Manager, for example, I go into those hub links and there they are, just like I've just set them up because this is, again, the synced blocks, which is going to be the same in every uh, location in which I've copied it in this uh, database. And as you can see, it's in 176 other locations in this template. All right. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and delete this links button, which was just there for me to work on. And yeah. And now if you open the sidebar, it's a lot cleaner. I only have one of each page on the sidebar here. So it's a lot easier to view and understand what's going on here. So yeah, if you want this entire system built for you, you can go to ultimateagenthub.com where you can find this entire template created for agents to organize their entire business in one place. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to let me know that you would like to see more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.